Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another video. So before we start today, I want to show you the paintings for the last two videos. Uh, they're all done. Well, this one has resin on it. The second one I'm going to show you does not yet, but it will. And I know I showed this in the last video, but I figured I'd show it again for anybody that did not see it. And I apologize about that window. Let me see. All right, that's a little better. So I'll just give you a close up of these really quick with and without the flash on. The background of this one is so plush looking. I used an oyster color. It just looks like a soft pillow. I love it. So that is a 16 by 16 and it is available. If you're interested in either of the two paintings I will show you, you can email me art by Tammy at yahoo.com. So there's that one. And then we have this one, the 20 by 20. Now this one does not have resin on it yet. I'm just showing you how nice it dried. And of course, once you put the resin on, all this blue silver uh, comes back to life and looks much more brighter. But yeah, I just wanted to show you those two. So again, that's a 20 by 20 on a gallery canvas. They're both gallery canvases. And uh, if you're interested, just let me know. So let's start the video. I have exciting news. <laughs> I am so thrilled about this. I swear you would think I was a kid on Christmas morning when I found this. Anyway, you know how I say happy pouring at the end of every video? Well, I consider all of you my happy pourers, right? You're watching the Happy Pouring channel. So I have this thing where I make tools that I use in my acrylic pouring, part of my happy pouring family, and I give them names. So my blow dryers have names, my airbrush have na has a name, a couple of my tools, like my silicone brush I use sometimes, Mr. Fluffy, he has a name. Well, I bought a new tool and I want to introduce you to her. And her name is Flo, okay? Here we go. Is this not the cutest little blow dryer you have ever seen? This is my hand. <laughs> and look at the con concentrator. It's perfect. So I'm going to test out Flow today on a 12 by 12. Uh, I tried it on my hair and it blew it like crazy. So I'm hoping that it'll work for the paint. If it does, I have... Uh, not the same color, but I have one in my Amazon shop. They only had a white and blue one on Amazon, but it's the same thing. <laughs> and I am just like tickled pink over this cute little thing. So this is Miss Flo, just so you know. <laughs> and she's going to be the star of the show today, I hope. So I have a 12 by 12 gallery wrapped canvas. Um, now... Obviously, you don't have to use a small canvas to use a small dryer. It'll blow paint no matter how big the canvas is, right? Uh, but I wanted to do a 12 by 12. And what I did today for you guys is I measured to the T with a scale my measurements for my Dutch pour paints. So if you don't have one of these, I think they're like 10 bucks. If you're having trouble with a Dutch pour and you don't have a scale, you should get one of these. These are in Am my Amazon shop also. This and the dryer, my airbrush, all of those are under the tab that says canvas and tools for acrylic pouring. Get one and do these measurements so that you know exactly how thin these paints are. Because I could tell you what I used, I could show you. I can let it run down the canvas, but unless I'm there with you and, and have you hold this stick and say, feel how thick that is, that's what you want, it's, it's hard 
to translate it to you guys. So I have a really pretty color palette I'm doing. Uh, you saw it in the beginning. The base is going to be this Lavender by Art Minds. And then the colors I'm using are Deep Violet by Grumbacher, Treasure Gold's Purple Topaz, Cobalt Turquoise, Bright Aqua Green, and Egyptian Coin Prism Pour, sold by Color Art. I have a 20% off coupon for all Color Art products that's in the description along with a link to get right to the channel. All those links in my description, you can click right on them and they will take you to the website, okay? This gold is almost identical to the 24 karat gold by uh, Deco Art, And I love the effects I get with it, okay? So let me tell you the measurements and I'm trying to make a point here. This is considered a medium bodied paint. Uh, this is a fluid paint. This is somewhere in between both. The only one I didn't use was a heavy body. Okay. But I have three different types in the end. I want to show you now. I did the bright aqua green. I did the cobalt and I did this here. Okay. This Bright aqua green. In this cup, I put, you might want to write this if you have a scale, 0.25 ounces of paint, so a quarter ounce of paint, a half an ounce of Floetrol, and a third, so point, well, 0 0.30, it's not quite a third, because a third would be 33, 0.30 of water, okay? That is the measurement that I got, and you can see let me get a piece of paper here so that I can run it down and you can see how runny this is. So just put some on a little bit of cardboard. So that is the measurement for that one. See how, how quickly that goes down? But now for the, the treasure art, Purple Topaz, sorry. This one, I did a half of ounce of paint, a half of ounce of Floetrol, and 0.20 of water only. So it had less water than the blue. But it runs at the same speed. I probably should have did them at the same time, the tilt. Um, I will do that at the end. And then the cobalt teal, I used an ounce of Floetrol, one teaspoon of paint, because this is a pit, very pigmented fluid paint. It doesn't, doesn't really have body to it. So you just put a couple of drops in there or whatever. So that's a half a teaspoon of, of paint one ounce of Floetrol, and only 0.10 of water. So you see how the measurements change? But here's my thing, okay? Use my measurements for one color. And then when you're mixing your other colors, go like this with your stick. Put put uh, your paint in, your Floetrol. Let's say one part paint, one part Floetrol. So an ounce of paint, an ounce of Floetrol. Add water till it feels the same consistency as one of my measurements that I just gave you. Maybe that will work for you. All right, so I put some of that blue paint there. I'm going to put this here. And then this next to it. Well, now it blended. And you'll see... Those two ran faster, obviously, because they blended together and I had more of them. So weight is taking over, but that's how thin they are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my base coat right here, just like this, across the canvas. 
and I'm going to tilt it for you. So here we go. That's how thin the paint should be. All right, so obviously we need more paint than that, all right? So just take it, tilt it around. I don't have my gloves on yet, so I don't want to get it all over my hands. Just tilt it, pull it over the sides, like so, coat your sides. And then make sure before you start putting your paints down, you check your sides to make sure they're all covered. So what I'm going to do is finish coating my canvas and I will be right back. All right, so I have all of my base paint down. And again, <laughs> remember, all paints are created differently. They have different bases. The acrylic paint, each company mixes their paints with a different base. So that's what causes cells when you use different bases. Together they react, uh, especially when you add in metallics. And uh, so because of that reason, because they're all made differently, some colors are thicker than others. You just have to kind of find, if you have a golden brand paint, trust me, mix one teaspoon of paint, one ounce of Floetrol, and 0.10 ounces of water. And that is what your consistency for the Dutch pour should be. All right, so before I torch, I'm gonna to put my colors down the center. So this is the deep violet. And I'm gonna try not to go crazy with the paint today. Try, keyword. <laughs> this is the, actually, you know, we'll use the purple topaz next. And this little blow dryer here, little Miss Flo, she blows really, really hard. Yeah, I'm surprised. All right, so next we're going to do the cobalt teal. And the Egyptian coin prism pour. And then last is going to be the bright aqua green. Hopefully there's not too much paint. All right, so this is my first time using this. This can either be a win or a tragedy. <laughs> Most of the time it's a tragedy for me when I use a blow dryer for the first time. So now it's time to torch your entire piece, to pop all the air bubbles. You cannot use a heat gun to do this because a heat gun is just too hot. It'll form a crust on your paint. So you definitely need a torch to do that. All right, and here we go. I'm gonna start on low. <laughs> Oh, she works beautiful. Oh. Holy moly. And that's on low. Wow. I am extremely impressed with this thing. Ah, so I'm just going to fix my edges a little tiny bit. And again, that's on low. Look at I mean, this little sucker flies. Just a little bit. Sorry about the horrible view. Wow. 
Uh, let's see. We gotta do something with this, I guess. And this color palette is really, really pretty. All right, I'm done. We got some really pretty cells developing here. Um, I probably can get a little bit more here. Hold on. If you blow a paint over a metallic, sometimes it will create some more cells. But you want to be careful to not disrupt your pattern too much. So I think I'm going to just leave it alone. I am extremely happy with this blow dryer. Wow. I'm going to just torch it a little bit, see if anything else happens. a little wonky to the side here but for the first run with that dryer it did really really good and the torch is creating some nice texture in the paint also in this um, treasure gold it's doing like this bumpy thing I'll show it to you in a second this is going to look really, really pretty on the resin. So I wonder if I could tilt it a little bit to get it to straighten out. Probably not, because then this is going to go away. So we'll just leave it alone. I think it's darling. I think it's very cute. I'm just going to do the under edges here, and then I will give you a close-up. But I cannot wait to use that more. I'm so upset. I have to go pick up my grandson right now because I just want to keep going. That was so fun. All right, let me give you a close up. So here it is, just normal daylight. I will also put the flash on in a second. By the way, I have a new resin video coming out on the new resin channel this Friday. I'm going to be releasing videos on that channel once a week on Fridays. So if you're not subscribed, please head over to the official resin channel and subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway on that channel to celebrate the opening. And look at this. I am so doing this palette again. <gasps> <laughs> especially this right here i love how the green is weaving through the gold oh love it love it and i hope you do too again if you're interested in this piece the other two pieces a commission just let me know art by tammy at yahoo.com I hope you are all well during these crazy times. And until the next one, my friends. Oh, don't forget, you can find Flo in my Amazon shop. <laughs> until the next time, my friends, happy pouring.